Hello friend and thank you for supporting this cleaning for free. Before I tell you a little bit more about this beautiful bathroom that you can see in the clip, I would like to thank everybody who subscribed over the last week. The subscriber count is exploding and I'm so grateful for that. And I see it as an early birthday present because in one and a half month I am turning 30 and I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers by then. I hope everybody feels welcome and everybody feels that this is a safe place, especially when you're struggling with mental health. Because I do not tolerate any judgmental comments on the houses and the people that I clean. Well, I do not clean the people, but their house, you know what I mean. This bathroom belonged to a young lady who struggled with depression and an eating disorder. And I don't know if you can see it, but there are a lot of sanitary pads on the floor right there. And because those were used sanitary pads, I decided not to uh, get the camera real close to this cleaning because that will be a little bit too much. Here you see me making some videos for my Instagram and it's always super satisfying to see the before and after videos. I would never film to shame someone but it's always with the purpose to show people in the same situation that they can call for help too. Believe me when I tell you that there are so many people in this world living in these kind of situations. And this never happens overnight. So if you are living in a similar situation, I would like to encourage you to stop thinking that you're the only one. I know how those little demons try to convince you that nobody cares, but that is simply not true. When I'm having too much anxiety, and believe me, this happens far more often than I really want to. But it always helps me think that everyone has got bad days and good days. There is this beautiful Swedish saying that says, life goes up and down for everyone. As some of you might know, we have been living in Sweden for two years and I still think it's a beautiful country with a beautiful philosophy. The Swedish philosophy is all about getting de-stressed and deconnected by spending time in nature. I have some really good memories from when I was a kid when my mom and dad took us to a forest just to spend the afternoon over there with a little picnic and we always dragged branches and sticks to make a hut and we pretended that we lived in prehistorical times. We made soup from berries and it was just so much fun. Some of you might have seen the post about my baby cucumbers. I am so proud because those cucumbers are growing so well and even my strawberries are turning red already and my zucchinis have flowers right now and I haven't seen any grapes yet but maybe they still have to come, I don't know. And I don't know so much about my broccoli and cauliflower because those leaves are getting a little vague. I don't know how to say that, but maybe that's normal, maybe not. We have had a lot of rain here in the Netherlands over the last few days and um, hopefully there will be some sunshine soon. At this point in the video you see me struggling to wrap up a new trash bag over the old one because the first one that I filled up was uh, there was a hole in it and it started to leak so now I'm struggling to put a new trash bag under it. 
By the way, you guys, uh, we have booked our holiday for this summer. And as my husband is a teacher, we need to go in the summer when the schools are closed. And so we decided to go to the UK this year. I've been there twice. I've been in London once and the other time we stayed close to Hastings. And we also visited uh, the Sissinghurst Gardens, which was really beautiful. But this time we are staying close to Birmingham and I am just curious if some of my UK subscribers have some tips for me on what I should visit in the surroundings of Birmingham. I don't really like really crowded places and so maybe there are some hidden gems over there. So if you got some tips for tourists like me, please leave a comment. I would love to know it. The floor wasn't super dirty and so I cleaned it with a paper towel with some multi-purpose cleaner on it. A little later in the video you will see me cleaning the floor with a disinfection spray just because all those dirty sanitary pads probably had a lot of bacteria on them. This wouldn't be a clean cleans video if it had not a really good butt shot in it. As you can see, this is the butt shot and it takes up more than half of the view that the camera has. It's so pretty and um, yeah, this is just my brand. Maybe you guys can come up with some funny sayings about cleaning and a butt. So I could put those on a t-shirt. I am really sorry for this view because in the moment I did not realize that it was so out of focus. But even though the view is a little bit blurry, you can probably see that the floor is still dirty and I used paper towels with multi-purpose cleaner to get uh, most of the dirt off the floor. And in the end I used a disinfection spray to spray the floor.
For the second part of this video I have some quick shots of this bedroom. Unfortunately my batteries died before I could finish filming. My husband discovered that the batteries that I own are probably a little old and so he gave me some new ones for Mother's Day. So hopefully this is the last time that I will have to disappoint you with less footage because my batteries died. However, I hope you like the crinkling sounds of the paper bags as much as I do. The way this young lady has decorated her bedroom really tells me that there is a sweet personality behind the depression and the eating disorder. For example, do you see those little red hearts over there? Those are really, really those are little lights and I think these are really cute. Also, I am preparing for quite a tough cleaning this weekend. I am taking someone very special with me and we hope to tackle three bedrooms. Two of them are full of stuff and one of them is quite dirty. And so I hope to post some sneak peeks on my Instagram of that. For the last part of this video I have some before and after shots of the bathroom and of the bedroom and I really want to thank you all for watching and supporting this cleaning for free. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time. Bye!